Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do different kinds of fades. There's like four of them, or more, it depends on what you're doing. So let's just say you have two clips next to each other and you want to do uh, like fade it on top uh, quite quickly. It would be a lot better if you had like the first clip a lot longer. For example, like either all the way above the second one. Um, or halfway depending on how you want your fade to be but usually it's safer to do it the entire way because you have more control and if you're like oh my clips changing because you didn't make it long enough um, there's a effect called slow motion you just add that do that just bring it down but it's a lot better to obviously twixter it but if you don't have it uh, longer than you could do it with this. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. Just there you go. And just make it. It's basically Twixter, but yeah, it's a lot better to just Twixter it yourself. But you have that slowed down now, so you could put this above. So for this one, it's this is just a quick one, right? So you'd fade it above here, the second one. This is a slow kind of fade in. But if you want like a quick one, kind of uh, similar to ones as Anels has done a couple times, you do it like this for quite quick ones here. And obviously with your transitions, so let's just do a zoom out or something. Do a zoom out. That's like this. It's a quite a quick one. Like I say, if I did a zoom in on this clip, I wouldn't end it like at the end here. I would kind of end it like near the end, near where it's kind of disappearing, like that. So it does it quite smoothly, like this. That's one way to do it. Another way to do that fade, or just the fade in general, is if you click on the track here, you go to Tools, Video, wait, no, Insert, <laughs> Video Envelopes, Track Compositing Level, and Compositing Level is the opacity, so you can graph the opacity as well if it's not doing it the way you want to. You just go to Track, Composite Level, and there you go. Gives you a lot more control. But I'll just use the normal fade for now, just because it's easier. Take that away. Another way to just make it smoothly come on is with Luma, um, S Luma, Dissolve Luma, sorry. It makes it appear slowly depending on how high your softness is, so if we do that, animate it so it appears, and then you just animate your uh, Luma. So it makes it a lot more smoother like this. Okay, so that's one way to do it. For a more kind of smoother fade. And then if you want it to kind of start appearing before the clip starts, bring it around halfway. Or like before halfway, depends up to you. Make it again, you have to make this longer. If you can't, if your clip switches, just use the slow motion effect. Very simple. And you would just fiddle around with the settings and drag it till about the middle. And then it'll slowly appear like that. And you can either just do the same thing, zoom in or zoom out. Um, But the graph will be different instead of just a normal graph. Uh, first of all, put your end keyframe where the fade ends. 
or way to where you want to end, make the graph more like this because if you do it like this, the transition is going to start here and you can't even see the clip yet. But if you do it here, the transition was going to start, well, where your marker is, or like slowly start and then go. So if we add that. Like that. Then you'd obviously add your like little shakes, position shakes or something. So if we see how it looks like, just a small position shake. Let's do a random position shag. Like that. You can also combine effects, so if you did the Luma effect as well. But then do it till it's all the way at the end. Um, that's just like simple fade and then if you wanted to do a seamless zoom um, there's two ways to do that which is like the ones where you zoom in on the face or just uh, just anything really Wait, we can try and do it with this actually because there's also different ways to Fade in a clip. You use radial wipe. You can see you can like slowly fade it in in like this as well. Although this looks odd since it's a zoom out. These look better in zoom ins, but you can kind of see where I'm getting at with this. If you'd move that behind the blur mode, then you can see it's slowly fading that in. Kind of looks cool, actually. Then another good way to do it, um, either adding it to your clip or with the adjustment event, uh, tint. So you can kind of make both of the clips, not tint, sorry, tritone. So you can make both of the clips look like the same colour. So they kind of blend in before like they switch. So if we do this, just the default colour for now, bring it back to the original, original here, they kind of... You can see it blends it. So if we just make the graphs quite tiny. Like this. See how see how much smoother that gets? Well that actually looked a lot smoother than I thought it would. <laughs> But this works as well. And then also blur. I uh, just add it on top of whatever effect you're using. Lens blur looks great. We add some lens blur like this. It's best to keep some like graphs on hand for when you're using blur. 
decrease that just a tad. Yeah, lower that. And then increase that. There we go. And there we go. A nice blur to go along with it. Does it nice and smoothly? If you want the bottom clip to go along with the clip instead of just on moving like this, um, that's a lot harder to do, in my opinion. But if you just start it where the clip starts moving, so it'd be here, and then end it where it disappears or like a frame behind where it disappears bring it out a bit and then add your graph it's going to be the same one as the zoom on the second clip just something like this okay, maybe, maybe more like that it's starting a bit too late so I just bring this back. Oh. And yeah, there we go. That's how I do one. Smooth little fade transition. Time slice also helps you to get it more smooth. It's just overlapping effects. Um, another thing people use is flares, so lens flares, but let's see, there's ignite, fly ignite light flares, uh, also the hit film light flares that were um, like the ones that disappeared. Uh, this S lens flare, it's just where it's like white above here. So if we animate the brightness, and then at the marker point, just increase it a tad. And then end it. It's just the same, very small, minuscule graphs. There we go, and that made it even more seamless. Yeah, that that is how you do fades. I'll do another um, tutorial, like a part two, on the seamless zoom fade because there's two ways with 3D cam and normal way, and just 3D cam takes ages, so <laughs> I'll do that on a separate thing. But that's basically how you use the fades uh, with luma wipe or with the insert video envelope or just the normal fades so yeah bye bye